episode of Write a Lesbian with me, Marianne Sheridan, your token lesbian. Um, I thought in an attempt to bring back uh, the old format, although it's not Thursday, but um, for those of you who remember On Location Thursdays, how about On Location Tuesdays for now? And I'm here at this area here is a slice of heaven for me, and it's always been. Um, it's uh, in Shirley, uh, Long Island, out east on the island of Suffolk County, New York. And uh, behind me is the Great South Bay. And as you can see, it is absolutely great. It's absolutely beautiful, peaceful, and it's just my little piece of, of tranquility. So I thought I'd bring it to you and hope it, it gives you the serenity it, it gives me whenever I come down here. And that brings me to uh, today's topic, which doesn't tie into serenity. But then again, um, when do my episodes tie into anything? So scratch that whole thing, and uh, here's today's topic. And, uh, and I thought of this as I was driving uh, the other day. Um, I noticed that, you know, yeah, you know, we're aging and all that jazz, but, you know, your mind could still be 18 years old, and your body is, like, 80 years old, but that's a whole other ballgame. But I happen to notice, and I don't know if it's just me, uh, maybe you guys can relate, but suddenly I'm noticing things I could give a shit about 20 years ago. Good example. Driving down the road the other day, and there's a young kid, I don't know, 8, 9, 10 years old, running on the grass, just running, just playing, whatever he's doing. Why do I suddenly give a rat's ass why this kid is running? Suddenly I hear myself saying, what the hell is this kid doing? He's running on the grass. Big deal. Who cares? 20 years ago, I wouldn't even notice there was a kid running on the grass, let alone care what he's doing running on the grass. He's playing. He's having fun. So, I'm wondering, not starting to become our parents, um, I'm losing my mind, slowly but surely. And guess what? You're witnessing it. How about that? Okay. So, yeah, I noticed that, you know, I, I start to notice things that, that really I never would have noticed 10 years ago even. Uh, maybe you said I'm pushing that, uh, getting closer and closer, an inch and closer and closer to that half century mark, that big 50 uh, birthday, you know, the big 5-0. I don't know, but I'm banking on those AARP discounts, so I say bring it on, you know. With the help of God, everything else in my life holds up, and, and I finally get it all in order, which I'm feeling pretty good about that. I, I, I feel like uh, I've got my direction now, uh, my little compass, my, uh, might I say, uh, you know, uh, my little mental compass, uh, pointed in the right direction, and, and I'm forging forward, and, and you know, I got to do what I got to do, and that's the way that rolls. So, um, to tie it all up and sum it all up, uh, I have no clue how to sum it up. Uh, I guess it just comes with age, but you know, you keep your mind young. It doesn't matter, matter how old the body gets, uh, the mind can be as young as it wants to be, as long as it wants. And I guess that's all we need to keep in mind, as long as we have that mind to keep. Yeah. So anyway, kids, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, peacefulness of uh, my favorite uh, serenity spot uh, as much as I do, and I'm going to go enjoy it now. So uh, until uh, next time, kids, don't forget, write a lesbian. Bye-bye.